When Lizzo said black people made rock and roll, she had artists like Big Mama Thornton and Chuck Berry in mind. She might not have known it, but she was also talking about Tina Bell, the godmother of grunge. This is Making History, where we'll tell you about a badass from the past. Our story takes place in Seattle with Tina Bell, born February 5th, 1957. She started in church and went on to perform at the Langston Hughes Theater. While looking for a French tutor for a show, she meets guitarist Tommy Martin. The two eventually got married and in 1979 had their son. In 1983, the pair started Bam Bam, a combination of their names, Bell and Martin. With bassist Scott Ledgerwood and drummer Matt Cameron, Bam Bam set the grunge scene. With their murky tunes, Bam Bam would lay out the origins of this new Seattle sound. At the time, Seattle was a relatively small area where gray skies matched the mood of its residents. The never-ending beats of rain brought gritty rage out of its people. Distraught and fed up with life and society, these artists were rebellious, made music with little to no money, played often as possible, and went wild. A poor place that began to brew its own music, technology, and coffee. Bam Bam arose during the genesis of this movement. In 1984, Bam Bam recorded their first EP at Reciprocal Records, the first grunge record at the studio where other Seattleites followed. Their music was a social statement, acknowledging reality while trying to escape from it. Tina Bell was an embodiment of this ideology. Expressive, fiery, fluid, and free, grunge didn't have a name when they were playing local venues, with Kurt Cobain, who worked as a roadie. The later bands of grunge came to their shows and left with the seeds of a genre. Their proto-punk sound paved the way for bands in the scene, like Nirvana or Soundgarden. Like many artists of the genre, Bam Bam didn't reach sustainable mainstream success and crept into near obscurity. Even though the unrestrained hard rock Seattle arena was not always inclusive to black women, Tina was a vibrant light in the local music scene. Her energy was fierce and unmatched. When folks came up to the stage to spew racially charged verbal attacks at her, she swung her mic cord around and dared them to try her even nailing one guy in the head. After a stint in London circa 1990, Tina departed the band. She passed away in 2012. She had begun writing with her former band members, who still hoped to release this year. Unfortunately, when history was being written about grunge, Bam Bam's contributions weren't mentioned. Former band members have since expressed their disappointment in the band's erasure while spreading Tina's story. Also included is her son, award-winning filmmaker T.J. Martin. When she passed, he came back to find that her poetry and work had been thrown out. However, recently, Tina has been getting her flowers. Her music has gone international. Last summer, a tribute concert was held in her honor where she once performed in Seattle modern black rock artists took to the stage to celebrate her boldness. Articles, tweets, news reports, and videos like the one you're watching are coming forward to tell the story of the grunge godmother who made history. <laughs> 